In this program, I want to examine two further problems with religion. I believe it can lead to a warped and inflexible morality, and I'm very concerned about the religious indoctrination of children. Time to question the abuse of childhood innocence with superstitious ideas of hellfire and damnation. I would rather for them to understand that hell is a place that they absolutely do not want to go. I'm going to meet someone who has experienced religion as child abuse firsthand. Jill Mitten. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm Richard Dawkins. Hello, Richard. Uh, here too. Jill Mitten was brought up in a strict Christian sect. Yeah. Today, she's a psychologist who rehabilitates young adults similarly scarred by their narrow religious upbringing. They need to be allowed to hear different perspectives on things. They need to be allowed to investigate. They need to be allowed to develop their critical faculties so that they can take a number of different viewpoints and, and weigh them up and decide which one is for them. They need to find their own pathways, not, not to be forced into a particular mold as a child. If I think back to my childhood, it's one that's kind of dominated by fear. Um, and it was a fear of disapproval while in the present, but also of eternal damnation. Do they get taught about hellfire and things like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. And to a child, images of hellfire and gnashing of teeth are actually very real. They're not metaphorical at all. Of course not. No. If you bring a child up and discourage it from thinking freely and making choices freely, then that's, that's, that's still... To me, that is, a, that is a form of mental abuse or psychological abuse. Or if you tell a child that when it dies, it's going to roast forever in, in hell. In hell, that is abusive, yes. What do they tell you about it? I mean, what, what, what happens in hell? It's strange, isn't it? After all this time, it still has the power to affect me when, when, you, when you ask me that question. Hell is a fearful place. It's complete rejection by God. It's complete judgment. There is real fire. There is real torment, real torture. And it goes on forever. So there is no respite from it. It's deeply disturbing to think that there are believers out there who actively use the idea of hell for moral policing.